Testing is not a perfect art. So we test once a week. Now we're going to go testing once a day. But even when you test once a day, somebody could — something happens where they catch something. How is it possible that someone that tested positive for COVID-19 got so close to you? Well, I think probably that has to do with the fact that uh, we all believe in tests. We have the best tests in the world. Uh, but uh, they were tested. I believe they're tested on a weekly basis. Uh, I just had a test, as you probably heard. In fact, I had one yesterday and I had one today. Uh, and uh, it's uh, negative. Mike just had a test and it's negative. Uh, but they do the tests, and it just shows you that the, the fallacy — it's what I've been saying — testing is not a perfect art. No matter what you do, testing is not a perfect art. So we test once a week. Now we're going to go testing once a day. But even when you test once a day, somebody could — something happens where they catch something. Uh, once but, a day, uh, we, for we uh, I've had very little uh, contact, personal contact, with this gentleman know who he is, good person, but I've had very little contact. Mike has had very little contact with him. Uh, but Mike was tested and I was tested. We were both tested. Did it spook him? Did it stick him? Yeah, it's a little bit strange, but uh, it's one of those things. It's, uh, as I said, you know, I said yesterday, Governor, all people are warriors in this country. Right now, we're all warriors. You're warriors, we're warriors. You can be with somebody, everything's fine, and then something happens to that person and all of a sudden, you test positive. And uh, we're all warriors together. I am, you are, we all are. It's what we were saying before. It shows that testing, and we have the best tests in the world. But what happens in between when you got tested and just a couple of days later? So uh, in this case, there were a number of days missed, and it was a long weekend and things, and so you never know. But uh, we both tested uh, in a negative fashion, I guess you would call it.